we're back in here carving this fella again here we are we've got his nose shaped up do a little bit of cleanup around there got his mouth drawn in got his ear stuff here and got his sideburns let's just take a few minutes and just clean all these knife marks all these saw marks off I'm it'll allow me to chance the tool at hair get a little bit of shape to that get all these bandsaw marks off of there do the same thing with the eyebrow just to give it some shape we'll go back with a little more detail but we just want to give it a little bit of shape as we go along I've got these marks down here just going to take those off as well and allow me a chance to shape that jawline a little bit get some of these things off of here I'm going to stay away from that high point and I'm actually going to move that high cheekbone somewhere down around and I'm adjusting as we go somewhere right there okay carving to the nose carving away from that spot there take my V my fishtail gouge and I'll carve over there carve up to the hair leave that a little bit in the ear so just get those saw marks off there I hate them can't stand them I'm going to reach down here and grab a V tool and actually I'm just going to use this one right here I'm going to shape that out Give that nary a little more shape and we can come back in here with a knife and make that stop cut right there go back to shaping that as well okay I want to cut that mouth in I'm going to start with the droop at the end of the mouth I'm just going to go in fairly deep about a quarter of an inch the most I'm going to come back and I'm going to carve straight across on that line I drew. And we're going to go straight over and make a stop cut. What that's going to allow me to do is to shape that lip. And so I just want to take a little bit of a chip, a little bit of a line out on the upper lip until I get over in the corner. And then that little chip right there I want to take out by going fairly deep cutting it out. What it does is indent that lip at the corner of the mouth, makes it look like it's going backwards, re-emphasizes that dental mound shape. See how that looks right there? We'll do a little bit more in the front and then reshape that bottom, that upper lip, so that it wraps around the dental mound. Dental mound, as we referred earlier, is that mound that goes around your teeth. So, shows that rounded feature to your mouth. There we go. Take out that little bit right there. We'll also shape the bottom lip. Starting right here, we're going to take a bigger cut on the bottom lip. And it allows me to have a more gradual fade into that lip under the under the top lip because the bottom lip for the most part does indent under under that lip I've got a chip right here I want to take out that little chip right there and that allows that bottom lip to look like it's going up under the top lip see that We'll shave a little bit more down to it. And then we'll reshape that bottom lip so that it curves back around there. We've got to worry about this part right here. We've got some sharp edges here. Let's just lop those off. Shape them around. We're going to shorten that lip. We've got it too droopy. And we'll make sure it sticks out. See how that sticks out right there. Let's follow that all the way over here. We'll just take our gouge and we'll just follow that over to the edge of the mouth. And 
and then we'll go back and we'll take off that harsh edge here. Getting my tools in the way here. It's probably a better tool for doing this, a smaller gouge than what we used, but this is going to give me what I want. And there's no sense in switching tools. If you're in a hurry, sometimes you switch too many tools and you get lost in your train of thought and what you're doing. So if you can do it with the tool in your hand, save you a little bit. Get him a big old bottom lip sticking out there. Trim off those saw marks right there. Trim that chin back. And move this chin back some more. I want it back there. I'm going to carve right into there. See how that makes that chin a little more prominent? We'll shape it up a little more here. We'll do the same thing at the back. shaped his head. I'm going to reach down here for a little smaller. Sorry about that. I'm here for a smaller tool. Take care of that real deep cut that we made in there. Makes that lip look a little better. I still don't like this right here. So I'm going to trim that off. Looks too pointed for a lip. Same thing on the back. There. I don't like that chip laying in there. Okay. He's looking pretty good. I like him. I want to draw in a nostril. Let me move all the tools out of the way here. I'm going to draw in a nostril. Come right here underneath. We'll draw the underneath part and then allow us to know exactly where it's going to go. You can see how we drew that underneath, around the front, and it's going to be all of that removed. So I'm going to use my big, my big gouge, and I'm just going to go straight in and back. See that nostril? I want to make it just a little bit bigger, not much. There's his nostril. And we don't have to make the nostril go all the way up in the nose. We just have to indicate it. So what I like to do, and if you notice, I left myself room here. It should come all the way out here, but I left that room. What I'm going to do is take a thin pointed knife right in there. Looks like he's got a knife sticking out of his nose. And I do that upside down, and then I'm going to turn around, and I'm just going to follow that outline that I've already done, the, the profile. Go in a couple, two or three times and make sure I don't leave him any little things hanging in there that we don't want to see hanging out of his nose. If I want hair, I can always go take them out of the shoe brush I got and put paint, glue them in there, but right now I don't want it to look like he's got anything hanging out of his nose he doesn't need. So we'll trim this back, get rid of those cut marks. He's got a, he's got a nose. We've got the ear parts, the hair, the eyebrow, and the eye, and we're done with this fella. We'll call it good there, and uh, see you at the next one.